Hello and welcome to Tech Simplified TV. Have you heard the term memory compiler? Do you understand what it is, how it works and why it's important? Do you know what is embedded memory? In today's episode, we will try to find answer of this how, what and why. If you are interested, stay tuned till the end of the video. Let's start our journey with some definitions. First, what is semiconductor memory? Semiconductor memory is a semiconductor device used for digital data storage. Second, what are the different types of memory we design and fabricate in VLSI? There are several types of semiconductor memories, each with its own characteristic advantages and disadvantages. The most common type of semiconductor memories are SRAM. SRAM is a type of memory that uses flip-flops to store data. It's fast, has low power consumption and is volatile. SRAM is commonly used in cache memory, register files and other high-speed applications. Second, DRAM. DRAM is a type of memory that uses capacitors to store data. It's slower than SRAM but has higher density and lower cost. DRAM requires constant refreshing to maintain the data and it is also volatile. Third, flash memory. Flash memory is a non-volatile memory that can retain data even when the power is turned off. It uses floating gate transistor to store data and can be erased and reprogrammed multiple times. Flash memory is commonly used in portable devices such as smartphones, USB drives and digital cameras. Fourth type of memory is EEPROM. EEPROM is a non-volatile memory that can be programmed and erased electrically. It's slower than flash memory but has higher endurance and can be programmed at the byte level. EEPROM is commonly used in small embedded systems. Next, FRAM. FRAM is a type of memory that uses ferroelectric materials to store data. It's first low power and non-volatile. Next, Magnetic Random Access Memory or MRAM. MRAM is a type of memory that uses magnetic fields to store data. It's first low power and non-volatile. Another type of memory is PCM or phase change memory. PCM is a type of memory that uses phase change materials to store data. It's first low power and non-volatile. Overall, each type of semiconductor memory has its own strengths and weaknesses and the choice of memory technology depends on the specific requirements of the application. Now move to another question. What are the embedded and external memories? Embedded memory devices are integrated onto the chip with the logic core while external memory devices reside outside the chip. We all understand this as we all buy external memory for mobiles, external storage for storing movies and all, right? So next question is what is memory compiler? Memory compilers are basically software tools and intellectual property of memory vendors. They automatically generate various kinds of memories depending on the customer requirement. Compilers support the generation of various memory capacities. Memory compilers use a set of pre-designed memory cell layouts which are then combined and customized to create different types of memory circuits such as SRAM, DRAM, ROMs and flash memories. The customization process includes selecting the appropriate memory cell size, configuring the memory architecture and optimizing the circuit for power, speed and area. Memory compilers are widely used by chip designers because they can significantly reduce the time and cost of developing memory circuits as well as improve their quality and reliability. In practical situation, there is always a gap between the customer's requirement and vendor's portfolio and that part is addressed by a team of designers, application engineers, account managers and so on. An excellent teamwork with extra engineering effort can result into an optimized memory solution they will deliver to the customer. In order to reduce this engineering overhead and quality enhancement, a more flexible memory compiler was in much demand and accordingly the generations of more evolved and developed compilers have been introduced into the market. Now let's see what are the core components of a memory compiler. Each memory compiler is a set of various parameterized generators. These are basically core component of memory compilers and each of them has very specific work to do. The components of our memory compilers are memory generator that generates memory cells with different sizes, operating conditions and performance specifications. Design rule checker that checks the design against the foundry design rules and design guidelines. This component ensures that the design meets the manufacturing requirements such as metal pitch, minimum feature size and VR placement. Layout generator. The layout generator generates the layout of the memory cells considering the given set of design rules and constraints. This component also generates the necessary routing such as power, round and signal lines. 
Schematic generator and netlister extracts a netlist which can be used for both LVS check and functional verification. Function and timing model generators responsible for gate level simulation, dynamic or static timing analysis and synthesis. Next, characterization engine which characterizes the generated memory cells using various simulation and modeling techniques. This component provides performance parameters such as timing, power and noise margins to be used in the overall memory design. The memory the compiler interface provides a user-friendly interface to input the design requirements and constraints such as memory size, power and performance requirements. It also provides feedback on the design status and any design rule violation. The memory compiler includes tools for testing and verifying generated memory cells such as memory BIST built-in self-test and memory verification software. Some special purpose generators such as critical path generator used for both circuit design and AC timing characterization are also part of a memory compiler. Overall, a memory compiler provides a high level of automation to the memory design process significantly reducing the design time, cost and complexity. Now let's see how a memory compiler works. A memory compiler works by automating the process of designing and manufacturing memory circuits. Let's get a general overview of how a memory compiler works. Design specification. The chip designer provides the design specification which includes the memory type, capacity, speed, power and area requirement. Next, memory cell library. The memory compiler uses a pre-designed memory cell library library which contains a set of pre-characterized memory cells with different sizes, layouts and operating characteristics. Third, memory architecture. The memory compiler selects and configures the appropriate memory architecture which includes the number of memory banks, word lines, bit lines, sense amplifiers, decoders and other control circuits. Fourth, Circuit layout. The memory compiler generates the circuit layout by placing and connecting the memory cells and control circuits based on the selected architecture and the design rules of the target and the design rules of the target manufacturing process. Verification. The memory compiler verifies the circuit layout for functionality, timing, power and manufacturability using a set of simulation, verification and optimization tools. Output generation. The memory compiler generates the output files which include the circuit layout, timing models, power models and test pattern in the required format for the target manufacturing process. Overall, the memory compiler takes the design specification provided by the chip designer and automate the process of creating a customized memory circuit layout, optimizing it for performance, power and area and verifying its correctness and manufacturability. Now let's see who uses memory compiler. Compilers. Memory compilers are mainly used by semiconductor companies, chip designers and integrated circuit manufacturers to automate the design and manufacturing process of memory circuits. This includes companies that produce microprocessors, graphic processors, application specific integrated circuits, field programmable gate array and other type of integrated circuit that contain memory components. Memory compilers are particularly useful for companies that need to design and manufacture large volumes of memory circuits such as DRAM and flash memories because they can significantly reduce the time and cost of developing these circuits. Memory compilers are also used by companies that need to create custom memory circuits with specific performance power and area requirements. Overall, the use of memory compilers is widespread in the semiconductor industry and, and they have become an essential tool for designing and manufacturing memory circuits. So, what are the best memory compilers available in the market? Number one, Synopsys Designware Memory Compiler is widely used memory compiler that supports a wide range of memory types such as SRAM, ROMs and flash memories. It offers a high degree of automation, customization and optimization as well as advanced verification and characterization capabilities. Second, Cadence Memory Compiler which is another popular memory compiler that provides a comprehensive set of tools for designing and verifying memory circuits. It supports a wide range of memory types including SRAMs, DRAMs, ROMs and flash flash memories and offers a high degree of customization, optimization and verification. Number 3, ARM Artisan Memory Compiler which is a memory compiler developed by ARM Holdings, a leading semiconductor IP provider. It supports a wide range of memory types including SRAM, DRAM, ROMs and flash memories and offer a high degree of automation, customization and optimization as well as advanced verification and characterization capabilities. 
Next, Mental Graphics Embedded Memory IP is a memory compiler that provides a range of pre-designed memory IP blocks including SRAMs, ROMs and flash memories that can be customized and optimized to meet specific design requirements. It offers a high degree of automation, customization and optimization as well as advanced verification and characterization capabilities. Overall, there are many memory compilers available in the market and the choice of a particular memory compiler depends on the specific design requirements, the target manufacturing process and the design team's familiarity with the tool. Now, the next question is what is embedded memory? Embedded memory is a type of memory that is integrated directly into an integrated circuit or chip rather than being a separate component. Embedded memory is used to store data or instructions within the IC itself and is an essential component of many electronic devices including microprocessor, digital signal processors and system on chip designs. There are several types of embedded memory including static random access memory that is SRAM, dynamic random access memory that is DRAM, read-only memory, ROM and flash memory. Each type of embedded memory has its own unique characteristic and is optimized for specific performance, power and area requirements. Embedded memory is typically designed using a memory compiler tool that can automate the process of designing and manufacturing memory circuits as well as optimize them for performance, power and area. The use of embedded memory can significantly reduce the size, cost and power consumption of electronic devices as well as improve their performance and reliability. Embedded memory is different from standalone memory because it is integrated directly into an IC rather than being a separate component. There are some key differences between embedded memory and other types of memory based on some parameters like integration, customization, performance and cost. Embedded memory is integrated directly into an IC which means it takes up less physical space and has a smaller form factor than standalone memory. In contrast, standalone memory is a separate component that needs to be connected to the IC or chip using external pins or interfaces. Embedded memory is often designed and optimized specifically for a particular IC which means it can be customized to meet the specific performance power and area requirements of the design. Standalone memory on the other hand is a standard standardized component that is not optimized for any particular design. Embedded memory can often provide faster access times and lower latency than standalone memory because it is integrated directly into the IC. However, standalone memory can provide higher bandwidth and larger capacity than embedded memory. Embedded memory can be called more cost effective than standalone memory because it eliminates the need for a separate memory component and the associated packaging, testing and assembly cost. However, the cost effectiveness of embedded memory depends on the specific design requirements and the manufacturing process. Overall, embedded memory is an essential component of many electronic devices and its integration into an IC provides several advantages over standalone memory in terms of size, customization, performance and cost. Now finally, let's talk about is an open source memory compiler that enables the design and customization of different types of memory modules such as SRAM, DRAM and CAM. It is developed using the Python programming language and is licensed under the GNU General Public License. OpenRAM includes a set of scripts and tools that can automate the process of designing memory circuits from layout to verification. This can save designers time and effort by eliminating the need for manual design and optimization. OpenRAM also provides a user-friendly interface for designers to specify the memory parameters such as size, speed, power and area and generate the corresponding memory circuit layout. It supports various process technologies and can be easily integrated into different design flows is widely used in academic and industrial research projects for developing memory circuits for various applications such as microprocessor graphics, microprocessors, graphic processors and networking devices. Well, that was a brief discussion on memory, embedded memory and memory compiler. Let us know your opinion and question regarding today's episode. Don't forget to visit techsimplifiedtv.in. That is much for today. We will be back with another episode of Q&A. Till then, stay tuned and stay focused.